of 2013, the team decided it was a great time to take a critical look at all nine of our classes. We had several goals in mind. We wanted to increase the excitement of moment-to-moment -moment play. We wanted to give players really good choices between different builds for their classes. And we also wanted to pare down the number of skills but make them more impactful. Helms Deep accomplish all of these things and set us up for the future. So this new trait tree system is really expandable. This is the largest update to the trait systems and the classes in general that we've ever done. This new system provides the players with a ton of growth where there wasn't growth before. As you level, you'll gain more and more points that you can spend in primary trees or your secondary trees. Um, and that sort of growth just really excited all of us working on this system. With this update, we knew um, we wanted to examine the animations as well. So we created a lot of brand new animations, something like the smash and stab. He actually jumps in the air and stabs the NPC before something like Ferocious Strike used to take three, three and a half seconds. Now, a second and a half. It's definitely a lot more action packed, quicker, more responsive. And I think players really notice the difference. So for a practical example, let's take a look at a champion going through the Siege of Gondomar. Now you probably want to be Spectre's Deadly Storm for most of the skirmish. You can take down a bunch of enemies and you'll be very good at protecting the NPCs. Moving on to the final fight, you'll want to be Spectre something else. At this point, it makes a lot more sense to switch from Deadly Storm to Marsh Champion because your ability to mitigate damage and your ability to hold aggro will ensure that Mathy doesn't die and that you complete the skirmish. And with this update, switching from Deadly Storm to Marsh Champion is as easy as clicking a button. There's no going back to a bard or trainer or anything like that, which is pretty awesome. You'll gain trait points every other level, and you'll have the opportunity to gain more of them by completing special deeds and quests. And don't worry, if you've completed deeds in the past which used to grant skills, you'll be granted trait points instead when Helm's Deep goes live. We're very excited to be making these changes for Helm's Deep. And we're equally excited to be working with the community to make each one of these classes as great as it can be.